Have you ever watched a teacher drop dead in class? Mrs. Chen was explaining quadratic equations when she just stopped mid-sentence. Her face went pale, she clutched her chest and dropped behind her desk like someone cut her strings. We all sat there frozen. The classroom fell into that suffocating silence that only happens when something has gone terribly wrong. Sarah Martinez started crying, those quiet hiccuping sobs that made everyone feel worse. Mike Thompson shot out of his chair so fast it toppled backward, running to get the principal. I remember staring at the empty space where Mrs. Chen had been standing, her half-finished equation still chalked on the blackboard. When it equals negative four and B equals the dangling sentence felt ominous, like a prophecy cut short. Then Mrs. Chen stood up, just like that. No gasping, no disorientation, no dramatic revival. She simply rose from behind her desk as if she'd dropped her pen. Sorry about that, she said, brushing chalk dust off her navy cardigan. Where were we? Oh yes, solving for X when we have these particular coefficients. That was how we discovered that Mrs. Chen dies every Tuesday at 2.15 p.m. Has been for three years, apparently. The first few times, chaos erupted. They called ambulances, their sirens wailing through the quiet suburban streets. Paramedics would arrive, equipment ready, only to find Mrs. Chen grading papers, asking why why everyone looked so upset. The school district held emergency meetings. Parents demanded answers no one had. Medical professionals were baffled. Dr. Williams ran every test imaginable. Cardiologists studied her heart. Neurologists examined her brain. Everything came back normal. Perfectly, frustratingly normal. Eventually, they just adapted. The administration installed a small digital timer above the whiteboard, red numbers counting down like a miniature doomsday clock. Every Tuesday at 2.10, Mrs. Chen would pause her lesson, set down her marker, and die exactly five minutes later. Student protocol became routine. Continue working quietly, don't panic, she'll be back in 30 seconds. It's really not that dramatic, she told us during parent-teacher conferences. More like a very brief nap. Sometimes I dream about grading tests. Last week, I dreamed I was explaining the distributive property to a classroom full of golden retrievers. Her husband brought her a medical alert bracelet reading, dies Tuesdays, 2.15 p.m. Temporary condition, do not resuscitate. He'd had it custom engraved and had to explain the situation three times before they'd agree to make it. The weird part wasn't the dying, it was how normal it became. Kids would set their phones to record the moment, posting videos with captions like Mrs. C's Tuesday thing. New students got oriented. First period math and chemistry, then Mrs. Chen dies, then lunch. Substitute teachers stopped showing up Tuesdays. Mrs. Chen took it in stride. She'd use the timer as a teaching tool. We have exactly six minutes before I'm temporarily deceased. Let's make them count. She'd plan lessons around the interruption, ending Monday's class with cliffhangers. Tomorrow, we'll discover why this equation is crucial. The only time she seemed genuinely worried was during state testing week. What if I die mid-exam? She asked Principal Morrison. We'll figure it out, he replied. The same phrase he'd used for three years. Spring semester of my junior year, she planned our biggest lesson around it. She spent all Monday building up to revealing the solution to a complex problem that had stumped our class. The answer, she said Tuesday at 2.14, dramatic pause included, is 2.15. Down she went, right on schedule. When she came back, 42, the answer is 42. Now, let's discuss how we arrived at this using the quadratic formula. That lesson stuck with me through college, medical school, and residency. Why cardiology? My attending asked during interviews. Had a teacher who died and came back every week want to help others do it less predictably? That's unusual motivation. Yeah, but Mrs. Chen died 127 times my junior year alone. Someone should help people avoid that weekly commute between life and death.